Ernie Wrangling and Cat Core with stellar chops. There's also Earl Chinna Smith, whose credits stretch from Bob Marley to Amy Winehouse. Tonight, a Jamaican guitar great. <laughs> Since I've been gone, who you been loving? Since I've been gone, who you been hugging? Since I've been gone, who you been loving, baby? Since I've been gone. So we are driving, we just a jump. So scratch ear, it and say, all right, record it. All right, so Bunny Wheeler's in the studio. And when, you know, it kind of sounds boring, okay? just chump, 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 chump. I'm so put on an intro on it. So. And then, then, then put on the arm on it. So the two part over that. And that is right wrist. When you think it's peace and safety. The guitarist in his overgrown yard in St. Anthro Park, one of Jamaica's best known session musicians of all time, credited on countless albums. Burning Spare, The Abyssinians, or Fast Forward to Lauren Hill, you just lost one. and Amy Winehouse, you should be stronger than me. he's played with the best. His guitar sound evolving as a member of Soul Syndicate the crack 70s reggae outfit and backing band extraordinaire. Smith can draw from countless moments that created sing-along songs. But early sessions with Bob Marley quickly come to mind. Sessions that produced such anthemic nuggets as One Love, One Love, Black, wasn't you? One Heart. We're at Black Ark Studio. Scratch and Bob Marley. Bob Marley was producing this girl from the States, Marta Valles. All right, and Bob, you know, you maybe like if you hear them song the way Bob sing about, you know, who quote the game? Who quote the game? Yeah, all of them sang the record as Black Hawk. So that whole session moved from Black Hawk to RJ. You understand? So the team went there, me, and you know, the rest of the Wheelers people. And you know. We How that. old were you? Oh gosh, I'm 66 now, and we're talking about 75, 76. You were, I guess, a session musician in an era when it was all coming together, and there was fabulous music and really creative minds in the, in the business. The atmosphere was like some set of man, some set of simple man, and they're saying, they're going to rule the world. Everything with them, the Rasta will take over the thing. You understand, and serious, and with, you know, with the vibration, and you know what I mean, and I live to see that happen. It's a commitment. And you see it happen. You know, you see it happen and the money making you see everybody get crazy with it. But me I say, me live in another generation to become apartheid. And I'm happy. Any particular memories of Mali or the particular session itself? One day I call my bridge in the past now, Alan Wall. I say, I go check down in my record. The song we that play was Real Situation. I'm glad for coming, you know, for someone come in. So I call me and say, I'll come play the guitar. So it's film guitar, it's film um, Les Paul music play that, real situation. Then, the baddest version of it, when we record it, blackout. And then, you know, after that, him just go buy some generator and thing, but anyhow, record it back again. The next song was, Oh, me and them all work it out. And the last song, on that session three, was, We will forever love in ja. If you listen to any of that song, I kind of just stop playing the rhythm and just play some like some cards, some pion, pion, you know, some simple good thing. And it's them thing that excite Bob. It's not so much, mm, you know, just some simple curve. And then pinpoint that. We will forever love in Something like that. <laughs> then the next thing too, 
and to rest of vibration. We well look at you, we have fun. We spend half the whole of my money. Fly girls all over the world come, it's a party, man. So on the end of the tour, I'm going home with no money. So I'm going to gang and say, gang, what happened? You know? They're laughing like you laugh. And I'm sending me to Marvin Zolt. It's worth mentioning that Zolt, Marley's accountant, also became Smith's business handler. People recognize musicians like them guys now. You know, I can't do so much great things in my life and end. And this must happen to a lot of the musicians in my life. You know, the scatter light man, them go crying. And the next generation go crying. I cannot afford for that. I'm supposed to be going out laughing for all of that great things that I have done. You know me, you can't take the money and run. You know, I'm supposed to be happy because it's great things. So how, what have you done? What have you put in place to make sure that you're happy? By just being happy. But you've also made All sure right. you've also made sure that you you, you you do your business. You know what the song is say? And we play on it, don't worry about a thing. Alright. So in you know them days they like about twenty dollars side for recording. So the fact that Baba got through a record company that'll get like about uh, fifty dollars side for record all them song. But it was funny because it's not even so much about the money, you know. It's just about, you know, working with Bob and the song them we are playing, you know, musician them we are playing with too. So you know, next generation just come and turn over the thing. She's attractive When it's work time She's active She controls the mark The girl is always on her job Cause she's mine Miss World Pretty little girl that's my guitar, yeah. If he slowed down, it's hard to see it. His Inner the Yard jam sessions turned into two albums. And more recently, he's been working with Naya Bingi musicians. He's even recorded a mentor band, if nothing else, to hold on to something that's fast fading from the collective music memory. It's just that, you know me, he's all that banjo man a doing thing, and the, rid the, 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 um, the rhythm box. It's just a feeling of happiness. It's not like music today, we have you twisted. You know, from here that's music, and then you know, then you get into the story of the lyrics. Because the story of them is, if you, you know, whatever the, the, the topic is all about, is always kind of just, you get make you laugh. It's not bringing back, it's restoring something. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Them so well, I mean, responsibility is to build upon what our forefathers have left. You understand? Don't just mm, and burn it and say all brand new things. You understand? There's the Old Testament and the New Testament. And it's to fuse them and make them become one. What was the sound you created in terms of your approach to guitar? What separates Earl Chinna Smith from other guitarists? Me. Because I love Linty H, I love Wrangling, I love West Montgomery. But it's me. I love music. I love music and if Antonio is well, one of them great players, I'll be, you know, part of you would be in me too. But I'll be coming out you through me. So it will be me doing it and you can hear the difference. One time people used to make music, like me as a little kid, when we play music, we can go into the studio and record a song. You understand? You want to know that, yeah, the producer feel good. That was our child. It was not about Grammy, you know, and the billboard, and all the rest of things. Then. You understand? Not even so much the money, because the producer them give a talk. You know? But the joy, when you hear the radio and hear the thing I play, you see me, some me play that. I hear and when you see the bridge in my body, we can hear to play for RGR and JBC. That's the joy. It's like 